Okay, right now we'll take you live inside the Rogers Center for a look at the first phase of a massive renovation project. Let's listen in. It continues next off season with the daunting task of transforming the lower bowl and continuing to transform the player amenities. But today is an extremely exciting moment for all of us in the Blue Jays organization and our ownership as well. Today is most exciting for thinking about just five days from now what our fans will see when they stream through the gates and, and down the aisles and fill the outfield and fill the new seats in the 500 level and look into the outfield district and see spaces that they will not know but were largely created by them because all the research done was to ask our fans what would create a compelling experience, what kind of different ways would they want to experience watching the game. And they'll begin to be able to do that on April 11th when we open the outfield district and play our first game here of the, the 2023 season. We'll try to create experiences for every type of fan, not just one type of fan. We're going to get our fans closer to our players, probably closer to the visiting players than they want, but that's okay. Um, and we're going to allow them to connect with each other and with our fans in ways they've never had before. An opportunity to modernize fan experience and begin the process of elevating our player experience and player uh, amenities as well. So many thank yous, it's hard for me to even begin. Nothing, no effort of this magnitude, no undertaking of this size can be accomplished by any small group or any individual person. Um, more Toronto Blue Jays staff than I can begin to even address or thank individually, but who have given their time to research best in class, to research what our fans want, to think about how to convert that to design and ultimately collaborate in the execution of the construction of these spaces. So to all of our Blue Jays staff, thank you so much for your time and energy. Thank you to Marty Starkman and Anouk Karunaratne, who provided undying leadership uh, to that group of Blue Jays. They not only perform their role as EVPs of our business ops and co-leading our business organization, they took on the second job, um, which to, to oversee this construction and begin the design phases or far along on the design phases for phase two. They've given their lives to this effort over the past year. So thank you to them as well. To our partners, Rise, PCL, and Populous, the undying effort to, to get this done on time and allow us to open opening day and the thousands of construction workers uh, across all of Toronto who have put in a ton of time and are going to be putting in even more time next off season, thanks to you. And finally, um, most importantly probably, without our ownership, without support from Rogers' ownership uh, and a belief in the vision belief in the understanding of the importance of this to our fans all across Canada and to our fans in Toronto. This would never have started. We would never have been here. Never, you know, I think in the, thinking about the last few years, uh, the support has been there from day one, but what we've endured with the pandemic to continue the player signings, um, all of the ownership group, but no one more than Edward Rogers and Tony Staffieri, um, without their belief, without their support, uh, without their desire to win on and off the field, we wouldn't be here today and we wouldn't be able to continue with the phase two. The, belief, the investment in our players, the investment in infrastructure from Dunedin to the incredible capital outlay for this project, um, all is due to the leadership of Edward and Tony and, and our entire ownership group. So thanks to them. Um, with that, I'm going to introduce Edward Rogers, Chairman of the Toronto Blue Jays and Chairman of Rogers, and then Tony Staffieri, President and CEO of Rogers. I'm excited for you all to see it. Thank you again to everybody who's given time, energy, and effort to get us here today. I can't express my appreciation and my excitement and my pride enough. Let's go. Mark, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for coming. Thank you for everyone that are up there in the seats for coming and sharing this very exciting day with us. The Jays are Canada's team. There's almost 39 million folks in Canada now from coast to coast to coast that watch the Blue Jays. When we look at the viewership data on Sportsnet, it is a national team and we're extremely excited about that. 
When my father bought the team, he bought it because he was a fan of the Blue Jays, he's a fan of sports, and because at the time the team had been for sale for a while and there was a threat that the team would be moved from Toronto, and he wanted to do everything to make sure that that didn't happen. Today it is about continuing to invest in the team and making the Toronto Blue, Blue Blue Jays uh, contenders to win the World Series. We've invested in our team. I think there's an amazing uh, uh, team that is on the field for this season, one of the strongest that we've had in many, many years. You heard Mark mention the investments that were made in Florida at uh, TD Park Field and at the Spring uh, Training uh, Development Center. And the, uh, the facilities there are next to none and amongst the very best that the league has to offer. And that helps us attract players and helps us to develop our youngest players. And today, we would be proud to unveil the first phase of this multi-year project to imagine the Rogers Center. It is a further investment in, in our team and in our fans. It is about building spaces and a reason for fans to come to enjoy their experience at the Rogers Center. Obviously to see the Blue Jays win, but also to enjoy their time with their friends, with their kids, and with their families. And Stage 1 has built some amazing spaces. I think that as you tour through it and go through it, will be something that is very different for us, very exciting for our fans, and, and make a real difference. I'd like to thank Mark. All right, we've been listening in live to a press conference inside the newly renovated Rogers Center. That was uh, Chairman of Rogers, Edward Rogers, also the chair of the Toronto Blue Jays, saying that they're trying to create experiences for every type of fan to modernize the stadium. This, of course, is the first phase of renovations, and it's the largest one since 1989. New outfield section, new social spaces, uh, and, of course, so many new things going into this renovation. Fans, of course, will get their first-hand look of it at the season opener in five days on April 11th.